The fourth thing is write their goals down consistently as well. I've told you this story before if you've heard it, but in the 70s, Harvard did a study on people that were graduating from Harvard with an MBA. Of this graduating class, only 3% of them actually wrote down their goals. And then 10 years later in the 1980s, they followed up with all of those people and they found out that the 3% that wrote down their goals with pen and paper were 10 times more successful than all of the other 97% combined. So 3% of people who wrote down their goals were 10 times more successful than the other 97% combined. Why is that? Well, because it becomes real when you write it down with pen and paper, you put it down, it becomes physical in this world. It becomes something that you can see and something that you can work through. And a lot of times people will set goals and then they'll never write their goals down and they'll never work, they'll never work through their goals to figure out how to get to those goals, which is usually the biggest detriment to why people don't hit their goals. But the example I always like to give is like, if I, if I gave you a, a multiplication problem and said, hey, what is uh, 127 times 43? Majority of people listening right now would not be able to do that off the top of your head. But if I gave you pen and paper and said the exact same number, what's one, four, one what did I say, 147 times, 127 times 43? You could figure it out by doing multiplication that you learned in what, fourth grade, third grade?